Good day to you. And another thing. Have you met the local lord? Sir Hanush? Of course. He's a jovial sort and doesn't know what fear is. What about our Sir Radzik? Sir Hanush gave him the whole of Perkstein for his use. He seems to be bearing up well considering all he's lost. What about the captain of the garrison? What's he like? Sir Bernard. A grouchy old bastard. He don't care much for us. I'd like to shove a stick up his ass. Or take out the one that's already there. And Sir Hans Capon? Have you seen him? Aye, I saw him. And for a young fellow, he was as drunk as... Well, as a lord. Which he is, of course. All of this here belongs to him. So he can do as he damn well pleases. I reckon I'd do the same in his shoes. How do you like Ratai? Uh, it's well fortified and well situated. And they won't get us as easy here as they did in Scalitz. And there's everything a man could want. Armourer, swordsmith, apothecary, taverns. It could have turned out a lot worse. How are the Scalitz refugees faring? Oh, me and the rest of Sir Radzig's men are alright. We live at the castle and we've got everything we need. But the others are just making it day to day. And they've lost everything. It's charity and arms for them, and the locals ain't as generous as they was. God knows how much longer we'll be stuck here. It ain't good. How do you like the new castle? It's a fine place. About the same size as Scalit's castle. Sir Hanush don't mind lending it to Sir Radzi, because he's got an even bigger one at the other end of town. Have you ever seen a town with two castles before? Have you heard anything about those savages who attacked us? I heard they're called Cubans. Sigismund brought them here from Hungary. By all accounts, we got off lightly. They say, in other places, they impaled people on spikes, skinned them alive, and even worse, fucking heathen swine. Thanks. Watch it! I'll remember you! What the... Damn! What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. What's life like in Ratai? We got sturdy walls and two castles to protect us. There's not many towns have that. And we got everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, an armorer. We got a beautiful church and fine alehouses. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Terrible things. Horrible. I hear they skin people alive and what they do to the women folk. Better take your own life than fall into their hands. Beasts they are. Animals. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. God be with you. How does life in Ratai suit you? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs. Bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats. But it's us that has to suffer for it, same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they?
Good day to you. How does life in Ratai suit you? Them Ratai folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work, and they won't let us bag. So, what are we supposed to do? Fucking war. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslaus. What kind of governor is Sir Hanish? Young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanish is his guardian till he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scalitz is a pile of ashes, and the countryside ain't safe. But they've been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers, and not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we make for them. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wives' tales, but I heard truly terrible things. What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? All right. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. Everything. My own, my family, my livelihood. Be merciful, good people. My respects to you, sir. Good health to you. Can I ask... What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? 
I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? Till Sigismund came, and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick, and you lot can clear off. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out, and I can move back into my chambers. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen, and barbarians, too, for all that they claim they've turned to Christ. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. that. All right. Well done. All right. Well done. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Ah, that's it. Very good. Not bad. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Not bad. I don't have all day, boy. Nice. Not bad. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Very good. Good. Well done. Not bad. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Good strike. See, I lure you, then attack unexpectedly.
Fine, enough. If you're not a complete dead loss, it'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. No, that's not it. Wrong, damn it. Not bad. Nice. Well done. No, not what? Nice. Wrong. I get good. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Wrong! Again! Ah, that's it! No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Too soon again. Good. Good. Well done. Well done. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train! Let's go! Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. 
I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. No! Not like that! Nice! Well done! Very good! Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Not bad. Well done. Not bad. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block. But then, change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Not like that! Wrong! Ah, that's it! Well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Thank you.